Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Come on in on this. So now in Memphis, I almost says it, it still is an amazing blessed Thursday. But baby, it is my kind of weather. Cloudy, little bit of cold. I mean, it's, it's freezing for some people. And a little bit of rain. Perfect weather, minus the rain. Perfect weather for me. So come on in folks. Hello, 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 how y'all doing? How you blessed and amazing people doing? Hey, Brother Timothy, how you doing? God bless you. <clears throat> bless you, bless you, bless you. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Tiana, <laughs> praise the Lord, Tiana. Good, Tiana, you so say. Tiana, come in saying, praise the Lord, saints. Tiana, walk in saying, praise the Lord, saints. Tiana, on your voicemail, you got, God bless you. This is Prophetess Tiana. Praise the Lord, saints. Hey, Kamara, how are you? I love you too, Katrina. How you doing? Hey, Dr. White, what's going on? Dr. White, I miss you. Can't wait to see you very soon. Hey, Trishelle. Trishelle, you know I love everything about you for real, for real. Yep. I love everything about you. Keisha, my love, how are you? So excited for your future. God bless you, Shanita. How you doing, Shanita? Hello, hello, hello. Come on in, folks, on this great, marvelous. It's cold. Y'all, I'm so glad it's cold. I don't know what to do. Yeah, and pray for Derek and Noah at home. Because Derek said, <laughs> you're going to freeze us in here. <sighs> but you know what? Before I freeze my family, I rebuke hot flashes in the name of Jesus. Send it back to whence it come from. Eve, girl, you, ooh, child. I rebuke in the name of Jesus every hot flash in the mighty name of Jesus. I, matter of fact, I decree and declare that I will never have another hot flash for as long as I live. I'm really holding on to that, and I really do believe God for that. You know what? My Bible didn't tell me that I was limited on uh, speaking healing over things I'm speaking healing for. I was, y'all, we were just in a service. Lord knows this is the absolute truth, and my team can tell you this. We were just in a service just the other day. The saints got up and testified that her dog was out there sick in the backyard. The woman of God said, Lord knows I'm telling the truth. The woman of God said she went out there and laid hands on her dog, Jesus. And her dog started running around in that backyard. Don't you tell now if God, if there's somebody can believe God that to heal their dog, surely he can heal <laughs> out of the, these hormonal imbalances. In the name of Jesus. Pass a herd. In the name of Jesus. Pass a herd. Come on in here. <laughs> the woman of God just testified. She said, I didn't have no money to take these dogs. Y'all know these new dogs are different. These new dogs are not like uh, Butch and Poochie and Sandy that we had back in South Memphis back in the day. These new dogs are different. You know, you have to take them to the vet and you have to uh, give them medicine. And they have di diagnosis, you know, diagnosis is diagnoses like humans do. The dogs in the hood back in the day. They could eat a bologna sandwich. You didn't buy them no dog food. They ate what you ate. Those scraps of eggs, after you done put that uh, grape jelly on it and now those eggs are blue. That's what Poochie and Sandy ate. And they ate it and they didn't get sick. I don't understand. And they would live forever. I mean, they would live for like years and years and years. But now these new dogs, I don't understand it. These new dogs, you know, you, 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 gotta, you, gotta, be, you gotta be real careful with it. Ooh, these new dogs can't handle it. They cannot handle. They have to go to the vet. You got to get insurance on them, and you got to, um, you know, put. You got to get all kind of insurance on. Them. They got prescriptions, and you got to, you know, what I'm saying, you got to leave stuff in your wheel to these new dogs. Sandy was just glad to be a dog. Lord, can you bring back the dogs? They're just glad to be a dog. They just glad to just say, you know what? I mean, the little children just will just hit them. They will have all them babies, and they would just, be, they would just be glad to just be dogs. They didn't require clothes and and, di and, and di uh, diabetes shots and they didn't require high blood pressure they didn't have cataracts i know sandy was blind but she kept right on <laughs> my granddaddy told me that granddaddy said y'all know buddy back there blind buddy couldn't tell us he was blind buddy kept on buddy could know what that food was he could smell and he would get right on over there where that food was and he would eat that bologna sandwich buddy would eat rag bologna and sauce and lived live 20 years i know my, my entire childhood those dogs live my entire childhood will live 30 years will probably still be alive today if he hadn't got hit by that car but i'm just saying 
you know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> woman of God said that she laid hands on her dog. Saints, you've been living in the power of God. You better go out there and, and, and lay hands on that dog and say, look here, I get paid on Friday and I know you walking around here and your sugar low, but I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your diabetes is about to come up. Your glucose is about to come up and you shall live, buddy, and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Saints ain't got no, they ain't got no faith. You see what I'm saying? Ain't got no faith whatsoever. The woman of God said she laid hands on her dog. All of Memphis was there. My whole, our whole Memphis team was there and they heard us. They heard the woman of God testify. She laid hands on the dog and her dog, did, did, she did, the dog was, was around there on his last leg, smelling like death, looking like death. The woman of God took that oil, laid hands on that dog, went on back in the house. See, you, you ain't got no faith. She went on back in that house and she left that dog out there and she said, Father God, do what you do best. Y'all don't know when to shout. Went on back in the house, went on to work, did her business, came on back. When she got back, that dog was up running around. Y'all don't know when to shout. I'm just trying to help somebody right there. The dog was up running around. So anyway, I was going somewhere with that before the dog threw me out. Anyways, um, yeah, so clean break. <laughs> clean break. In 1996, y'all, I broke my right tip fib, my right tibia fibia in three places. 1996 broke my right tibia fib in three places. But here is the thing that helped it. It was a clean break. It was not a compound fracture. It was a clean break. And so what happened was my bones literally snapped. A straight line fracture snapped in two. Okay? Straight line fracture in three places. 1996 snapped in two. But here's where we shout. Because it was a clean break and not a compound fracture. It was a clean break. Snapped in two. I was able to heal from this clean break. And as a matter of fact, the calcium in my bones are now stronger in my right hip field than they, than they were before the break. And so now what you're telling me, woman of God, after the clean break, after it snapped in two, when my legs finally healed, they healed back stronger than they were before the break. Y'all don't know when to shout. They healed back stronger than they were before I had the before I even had to put them in a cast. Before I even I, I didn't have to go through surgery. Y'all don't know when to shout. I, I had to, yes, I had to wear a cast. I didn't have to go through surgery. I didn't have to have any pins, any screws, any needles, or anything in my tear field because it was a clean break. And so it was able to snap, break, but I was able to heal afterwards. Somebody in here today that's listening right now you are going through a clean break but here is the blessing about the clean break when you heal your bones will be stronger than before if y'all remember back in the 50s right and not, right now this diagnosis is not as common as it was as it was in the 50s as it is now but there is a condition called rickets that kids uh that are born with you know when they have osteoporosis and uh, a vitamin a vitamin d deficiency and a calcium deficiency right a vitamin d deficiency and a calcium deficiency and these kids are born with rickets that means that they're uh, uh um usually it's their legs they are deformed they are made like a parentheses and so what the doctors have to do they have to break the legs in order to fix the legs they have to break the legs first in order to strengthen the kid's legs so that the kid can walk can walk properly come on can run properly can have a full and existing life, a full and fulfilling life. The doctors have to break the child's legs first, put them in a cast in order for them to get better, in order for them to walk straight, in order for them to run and to do the things that normal children, that, that are regular, you know what I'm saying, normal, they're a normal child, but to do the things that a child with, you know, with, with regular legs can do. They got to break them first in order for them to heal. They got to break them first in order for them to heal. Some people of God, there are some things that we have experienced this year, and it was a clean break. Huh. You were able to walk out of that situation. Yeah, it was painful. 
Yes, it hurt. Yes, you had to stand still. Yes, you couldn't move. You couldn't move. You had to stay still. You, there was limited mobility. At one point, it was weak. But guess what? It was a clean break. And so now that you're out of it, you won't have the 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 the, the rebuttal. You won't have the um backlash. You won't have the retaliation that you once would have had. It's a clean break. You can walk away from it free. <laughs> You can walk away from it free. Nothing holding me back. Nothing, nothing hindering me. Nothing holding on to me. I can walk into my new season. I can walk into my new place because I got a clean break and I'm going to heal. And when I do heal, I'm going to be stronger than what I was before the break. It's a clean break, baby. It ain't a compound fracture. It's a clean break because when you heal, you're going to come back stronger. Let me tell y'all something. I broke my leg in three, my right tip fib in three places. I broke my leg and my, my leg, my right tip fib in three places in 1996. But on December 7th, I'll be running my seventh marathon. You don't want to have no church. I said, I broke my leg, my right tip fib in three places in 1996. How many years is that later? 23 years later, I am running my seventh marathon. 23 years later, after experiencing a clean break in three places, being in a cast, being immovable, I, 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 I'm limited mobility, having to learn how to not having to wait on somebody. And y'all, I was in the army. I will never forget this. I was in the army too. And so my, I had to depend on my battle buddies to help me out of the shower, to help me this and help me that. I had to depend on my battle buddies. I had to depend on trying to, with crutches, uh, uh, waiting on somebody to try to help me when I go to the mess hall to go to chow, waiting on, waiting on somebody to help me to get my tray, to get my chow so I can try to eat. Uh, um, I had to, uh, 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 because it was my right leg, I couldn't drive, right? So unless I tried to put my leg over on the other on the passenger side and try to drive my car So I had I had to wait for somebody to drive me if wherever I had to go around base or whatever I had to do To chow or whatever I had to do. I had limited movement Couldn't move in a cast. It was uncomfortable Come on. It was uncomfortable. I had a uh, you know when it was itching I could I couldn't get down, you know inside the cast to try to to try to scratch it, right? It was uncomfortable. And not only that, when I finally had the cast removed, my right leg looked different from my left leg. And so now my legs don't even look like they match. One smaller than the other. Come on, somebody. And so now I look like I got mixed match legs. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to help somebody here. But it was a clean break. And so it wasn't until after my legs healed. I should not be able to run as far as I do I almost said it's fast, but I don't run fast. I am a full-blown turtle, penguin, turtle, snail, molasses. Slower than slower than uh, the week, slower than Christmas. But I shouldn't be able to do that. But nevertheless, I don't have any pain. I take my calcium like I should. I uh, take my vitamin D supplements like as I should. But my legs are stronger than they've ever been nothing is hindering me nothing is blocking me it was a clink because it was a clean break the best thing that God could have done for some of us this year was for, was for us to experience a clean break I can walk away from it I serve my time <laughs> I serve my time in that little cast I served my time. I was a champ in that walking boot. Come on, somebody. I was a champ when I had to wait on somebody to bring me the child. I was a champ when I couldn't drive my vehicle like I wanted to. I was a champ when I could, even when my legs looked mixed match after I got my cast off. I was a champ when I couldn't scratch my leg like I wanted to. I was a champ when I couldn't get the cast wet for so long. I had to take, you know, I had to modify, uh, the, modify the way that I clean. I, Modify how I get in and out of the shower, modify all of that. I was a champ with all of that. It was a clean break. It was a clean break. And so now 
I'm stronger than I've ever been. That will be your testimony. Because you, look, you experienced a clean break. God had to break it in order to fix it and make it stronger. God had to break it in order for you to get better. God had to break it. Yeah, it was painful, but it was a clean break. Ain't no mess attached to it. There's no mess following you. There's no black backlash behind it. There is no uh, uh, rip repercussions behind it. You serve your time. You put your work in. You put the work in. You put the time in. Come on, y'all. It was a clean break. A clean break. So all you got to do now is just lift up your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. All you got to do now is lift up your head. Every clean break. Was it whether it was a clean break in a relationship where you left um, a, 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 a place, it was hard for you to leave, but God said it was a clean break. <laughs> when you walk out of that, you might be in pain, but baby, on down the road, you're going to have so much strength. When you walk out of that, oh, Kimberly, Cam, you better receive that. It was a clean break. When you walk out of it, you're going to walk out better. You're going to walk out stronger. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to, you know, it's going to look a little weird at first. It's going to feel a little weird at first. But in the in the end, you will be stronger. What do we say, Tuesday? In the end, you are coming out on top. In the end, it was a clean break. you coming out on top. No backlash, nothing attached to you. Nothing hanging on to you. Nothing latching on to you. Nothing. You won't even smell like you won't even look like it. I can look at my legs now. And both of them got the jiggling devil on them. I can look at my legs now. Both of them look the same. I can look at my legs now. The fracture don't even feel like the fracture. Yeah, well, I have to, you know, I have to invest in different types of running shoes. I just can't, you know, your girl got a, uh, you, the woman of God got a grown woman foot. So I have to invest in, some, in different types of running shoes and all that. But nevertheless, it's a clean leg, stronger than ever. I decree and declare you better receive it. That I will, you will be stronger than ever. God had to break it in order to heal you. God had to break it in order to, straight, to straighten it up. God had to break it in order to make it better. It was a clean break. All right, y'all. I believe I did that in what? Man, I did. That was a record time. Ha! A clean break. D, don't you remember that woman prophesied, uh, 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 testified about laying hands on her dog and her dog got up and started walking around? Don't you tell me what God won't do. You better lay hands on everything that's sick. Lay hands and speak life over everything that's not moving. Speak life over everything that's sluggish in your life. Speak life over everything that's not moving and decree, declare it with faith. Declare it with the word of God that heaven is backing what I say. Heaven is in, heaven is in agreement with what I say. Because I say what God says concerning my life. I'm not going to say anything that is contrary to my covenant. I'm not going to say anything that is contrary to what, to what, my, what God has already destined over my life. I'm not going to say anything huh, that's contrary to what God has spoke over my life. I speak the word of God. And you better speak the word of God over your life. Glory be to God. Everything that ain't moving. Everything that's sluggish. Everything that look like, you know what? Everything that ain't like God, it's got to reflect God. It's got to look like God in your life. Lord, have mercy. Everything that's not like God got to look like God. Everything, I want to see God reflected in every area of my life. Sonia the dog was made whole. You hear what I'm saying? I want to see God reflected. Lord, I done got hot. I want to see God reflected in every area of my life. I want to see God reflected everywhere I go. See the reflection of God. <laughs> see the reflection of God in my finances, in my ministry, in my health. Come on, somebody. In my, oh, you know what? God is such a good God because he let a girl with curves and, and, and thickness and Ooh, shout out by Sunday, there by Sa, and 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 a little jiggle on the, on 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 the anointing and on the on on the woman of God, be able to pass people that look like they ought to run, that has a runner's body, right? A runner's body. Come on, somebody. But they cannot do what you can do. How would you shout 
when God allows you to do something that others have the supreme, the ep uh, uh, epitome condition, like the top level condition, but God allows you to do it better. You got less than, but you're doing it better than. They got greater than you, but they're not doing it better than you. How would you shout? Man, y'all don't want to have no church up in here. How would you shout? When you don't even have the resources, you don't even have the supplies that others have, but you're doing a job better than they could even do it, than they could even think about doing it because of God. How would you dance, glory be to God, when you know you shouldn't be able to do something, but the Holy Spirit come up on you and the power of the highest overshadow you and that which was not supposed to be is that is, is now that. How would you shout? When God, when you tell, when you, when you uh, uh, say to the Lord, you know what, God, be thy according to your word. And because you believe it was performed, how would you dance? Glory to God. Y'all, you know what? I ain't, ain't for the food with y'all today. I am not for the food with y'all today. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. On this rainy, cloudy Thursday. I am not. How would you dance? Don't you know it ain't no limit to what God can do? There's no limit to this clean break. You made it through a divorce. Your children made it through uh, uh, um, what society calls a broken family. Your children made it through what society calls. Society says that they should not do this. That they should not be this. And they should not be able to do this. But thanks be unto God. God took all of society's standards and just threw them up in a big old paper ball. And told society, now take that and watch me be God. And watch them do better than, than somebody with the, what, what you call the organic and the ideal conditions. They come from the less than, not ideal, substandard. But they're doing greater than. They're doing uh, above, the, above the average. They're doing above. Of excellent. They're uh, operating in an epitome, an extreme, a uh, 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 high levels, high high capacity place. But you got less. But you don't have as much resources. That's the kind of God we serve. Well, He takes the foolish things of the world, baby. You don't read your Bible. Where well, He takes the foolish things of the world to find the wise, huh? When people say, "Oh yeah, I know her daughter gonna get pregnant because she going through a divorce. She's a single parent. Uh, she had a baby out of wedlock. Her mama had a baby out of wedlock. Her grandmama had a baby out of wedlock. Great great grandmama had a baby out of wedlock. All her daughter, all her sisters and aunties and everybody, all them, they come from dysfunction. But look at your daughter breaking records, exceeding limits, making the news. Come on, something. Come on, somebody. Uh, featured all 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 around campus. Come on, defying the odds. Yo, hun, they say your son because his daddy is in. His daddy was not in his life, and, and you you know you raised him. And I know they say you know women can't raise sons, but one thing about it. We may not be able to raise men, but we sure can raise some people with some morals and some responsibilities. I may not be able to teach them what a man, how a man thinks, but one thing about it, I can teach you what God says. I can do that. I can teach you responsibility. I can teach you. I can teach you how to be morally ethic, and I can teach you how to be mature. I can teach. I can teach you how to how to survive out here in these streets. And I can't teach you how to be a man, but I sure can can teach you how to turn some corners, how to survive out here in these streets according to the according to the word of God. I can teach you that, huh? Huh? <laughs> and he don't have to be feminine. He don't have to be feminine. He don't have to be effeminate. He don't have to have feminine ways. Come on, somebody. God. I don't know how to do that, but I can show and teach you that Bible. Huh? I can show you. I can show and teach you that Bible. I don't know how to throw a football, but I can. I, 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 I can teach you. I can teach you how to walk by faith. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, um, uh, do all, you know, all that other stuff. But one thing about it, I can teach you how to pay your bills on time. How to save your money, how to invest your money. How can, um, how to, how to, how to have respect for somebody. So I'm, you know, uh, yeah, I, I can't, I, I agree. I don't know. I don't know what it takes to be a man. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I agree. But what I can do, I can show you how to get in that word and work that word. Ha! Woo! I can show you how the just shall live by faith. I can show you that. I can't teach you how to throw a football. Shame. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And don't you limit, sis. Let me tell you something. Don't you limit because you're raising a son. You're raising kings. Don't you, don't you, don't you put that label on your child. That your child gonna grow up in dysfunctional, or, or that he has to grow up be feminine, or he has to grow up, you know, acting like a girl. No, teach him how to get in that word. Teach him, huh? 
<laughs> Having done all you can do, stand. You can teach him that. Sir, her, her mom may not be in her life. You may not know how to put on eyeliner, may not know how to put on a bronzer or a matchet, but what you can do is teach her how to intercede. What you can do is teach her how to call on the name of the Lord when daddy ain't there, when mama ain't there, but teach him how to call on the Lord because he'll never leave you or forsake you. You can teach him that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can teach him that. Thank you, Jesus. You can teach him that. You can do that. And God will surround you with people that have the resources, the capability, and the ability that you cannot do, that they can impart in your child. God will make sure that his word will come to pass in your child's life and in your life too. God, huh? He will, he watches over his word to perform it. He will make sure that that word comes to pass. What you cannot do. You, you may not get him around some coaches. Get you, get that boy around some coaches, put him on a team. He may not be able to run the ball, but he can learn it. He can learn the fundamentals. He may not be a starter, but he can learn the fundamentals. He can learn how to receive correction from a man. Huh? He can learn that part. He can learn that part. Oh, you Lord, have mercy. I ain't get on there and do all that. I done went over my time. I'm done, y'all. But it was a clean break. And lift up your hands and give God glory. I love y'all. I'm praying for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.